If you are a Windows user, then you must use this free Windows customization utility to optimize the Windows experience to your liking. This tool will work for both Windows 10 and Windows 11, and the tool I'm talking about is actually Windhawk, the customization marketplace for Windows and programs. This tool has a bunch of mods that you can browse from here, which can be installed to customize the look and feel of everything within the Windows. So today I'm gonna be showing you the mods that I like to use and how to actually use them, and to download the tool, you will simply need to click on this download button and the download will start. Once you have it downloaded, simply open it up and then we will begin the installation process, so hit OK. You can opt for the standard installation which I also recommend or make it the portable installation to ensure that any configuration data is not stored in the registry but instead is stored within the application folder. So I'm gonna hit next, then hit yes and I'm gonna be making a desktop shortcut so I'm gonna hit next once again and install. This is then going to download the necessary packages and install them. Alrighty, so now that it has installed, we're gonna be finishing it up and it's going to run the software. And here is the interface. As you can see that it has some featured mods inside of here, which are the most popular ones. But what we are looking for is actually inside of the browse for mods. And the most popular one inside of here is the Windows 11 style menu styler. So I'm gonna hit details and inside of here if I scroll down you can see that under themes there are a bunch of themes for the Windows 11 start menu. You can even make it look like the Windows 10 start menu if you would like to. Also there are many transparent options. So what I'm gonna do is scroll up and click on install and then it's going to say that malicious mods can damage your computer and you should be not installing anything that is untrusted. By the way this is just a warning and you can get the details about the mod and its publisher from here. So I'm gonna hit this button to install it and then the installation process will begin. And now that we have installed the mod I'm gonna go to settings and inside of here I can apply any of these themes. So this is my default start menu. Now what I'm gonna do is go into the themes and go to the no recommended section and then click on this one then click on save settings and now if I open up the start menu you can see that the recommended section from here has disappeared so this is one of the themes now if I go back to themes and this time let's go to the side by side one save settings then go to start menu and as you can see that there is a now sidebar inside of the start menu. Now this one looks really janky so I'm gonna go ahead and change it again. Let's go to the Windows 10 one and then hit save changes. Let's open it up and as you can see that we have the Windows 10 start menu. The other ones that I like are actually the side by side minimal so I'm gonna hit save changes and open it up. As you can see that the sidebar is on the left side as it used to be in the previous versions of Windows and we have the pinned icons right here. This is my most favorite one but if you want a transparent one they also have those so I'm gonna hit the translucent start menu and now if I open up the start menu you can see that it is actually transparent. Let's minimize this, open it up again and as you can see that the start menu is completely transparent. Also if you ever want to reset any of these you can of course go back to the default one but if you want to disable the mod you can go ahead and click on disable and now if I open it up you can see that we are back to the default start menu. You can also remove the mod from here completely but it's really up to you. Let's go back into the mods and the next one is taskbar height and icon size. Let's go to details and if I scroll down you can see that we can change the size of these icons on the taskbar as well as the size of the taskbar itself. So let's go ahead and install it. Hit install once again and the installation should begin. Also one more thing that I wanted to mention was that you can go ahead and look at the source code from here and as you can see that everything that it does is included inside of here so that you can look at it for yourself and if you find anything malicious you can actually go ahead and report it. But everything here is of course open source. Let's go to the settings of this one and by default the icon size is 32 and the taskbar height is 52 while the button width is 44. So what I'm gonna do is set the icon size to some something like 24 and the height should be something like let's say 32 then hit save changes and as you can see that the taskbar icons as well as the taskbar itself have shrunk down in size. Let's also change the width to maybe like 34 then hit save changes and there it is the distance between these icons has also shrunk. This does look a bit odd since the icon size doesn't match the taskbar so I'm gonna go ahead and reduce the icon size to something like 20 then hit save changes and now this is much better. So you can go ahead and play around with these values and customize it to whatever suits you best. I'm gonna go back once more and this time go to the Windows 11 taskbar styler then go to details and as you can see that it has a bunch of themes ranging from Windows XP to bubbles to square and translucent and everything that you can find inside of here. So I'm gonna hit install and let's customize some of the themes inside of the taskbar. 
So the mod has installed, let's go to the settings and for the themes, let's apply the Windows XP one first. And as you can see that it has changed the taskbar to somewhat similar to Windows XP. Now this doesn't do that much good of a job compared to some other mods that are out there on GitHub etc. But if you want to experience this blue and green taskbar, then I mean it's really up to you. Let's move on to something like bubbles and this theme, it's actually really good. But because we have decreased the size of the taskbar, it looks really odd. Let's move on to the translucent option. And as you can see that the taskbar is completely transparent now. You can actually combine this with the translucent start menu and that would be actually a great combination. Let's move on to something like what squircles, save changes and I don't like this one at all. How about the dog live, let's save changes and yes this one, this one actually looks really nice. Actually if I go back and go to the taskbar height and size, let's go ahead and increase the size and the height as well to something like maybe 52 for the height and 28 for the icons as for the width and let's change this to something like 54 hit save changes and yeah i think this looks pretty nice so i'm gonna go ahead and keep this let's move on to another mod and that one is actually the task for volume control so if i go into the details as you can see that we can go ahead and increase or decrease the volume by hovering over our taskbar anywhere instead of having to hover over the speaker icon and then scrolling up or down to increase or decrease the volume so this is a really good quality of life mod and I'm gonna go ahead and hit install and once it is installed I can hover over the taskbar anywhere and scroll up and down to increase or decrease the volume. If I go into the settings I can also change the volume control indicator so let's set it to windows 7 hit save settings and now if I scroll up and down you can see that it's actually the windows 7 menu that's opening up. You can also change the scroll area, you can also set the middle click to mute. So if I go down here let's say and middle click it's going to set the volume to mute and unmute. You can change a bunch of settings inside of here. Let's go back and explore some of the other best mods. Like you can go ahead and choose better file sizes in Windows Explorer. So it's going to show folder sizes and uses MBs and GBs for larger file sizes instead of those KBs which can be really hard to read and this is another one of those quality of life improvements. You can also customize the taskbar clock, define custom data and time formats, add news feeds, customize font and color. You can also customize the windows management. Taskbar labels for windows 11 can customize text labels and combining for running programs on the taskbar. Let's go on to details and as you can see that it has a bunch of options such as show labels but don't combine the taskbar buttons or hide labels and combine the taskbar buttons. Everything inside of here is up to use for you and if I go back there is actually another mod called disable grouping on taskbar which will perform something similar. Moving on to the dark mode for notepad. This one can also be used for Windows 10. Since Windows 10 does not have a dark mode, it's going to go ahead and enable that inside of there. But as I'm on Windows 11 and the Windows 11 has a dark mode on Notepad by default, I won't really need it. Also another mod is the classic explorer navigation bar. As you can see that by default on the new versions of Windows 11, the navigation bar has changed to something like this. Which for someone like me who is used to the navigation bar looking like this can be really annoying. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit install. And now if I open up the file explorer, as you can see that the older navigation bar is back. And if I go into the settings, I'm gonna go ahead and set it to something like classic ribbon UI and it won't have any tabs. And now if I reopen up the file explorer, you can see that we have all of those ribbons and we don't have any tabs and anything. So this is the classic Windows 10 file explorer inside of the Windows 11. Another one that a lot of people actually use is the show all apps by default in start menu. Let's go to details, let's hit install and as the name suggests, if I open up the start menu now, it will open up inside of the all apps instead of this home preview that it used to open in. You can also disable the rounded corners in Windows 11 if you want to. You can force dark mode in Windows Paint now. Restore the logon, log off and shut down sounds from earlier versions of Windows. And there are so many mods inside of here that if I go into the details of every single one, this video will probably be like 3 hours long. So to save you time, simply go to the description and download this program and test and install these mods for yourself. But if you want to actually debloat and optimize the Windows for best performance, then check out this video right now.